Hello guys, how are you? This is a small build of the Ming US B24 Liberator. Uh, it's a tune uh, plane. I have been delaying doing one of these. I actually started one, never finished it. I still have it here. Uh, it's a very, very, very cool and fun to build kit. No glue needed whatsoever. Um, fits like a dream and I did it almost in a day. The only thing you have to be careful with right now as you can see it's some mold lines like cars because this is done on big chunk of plastic parts and they are molded and at the end you get a B24 tune plane. Very fun to build very cool build this one I love this one very much I needed a bit to clear my mind clear my head and I hope you enjoy this video Also on this video, uh, it's a very short one, short, well 20 minutes of video, um, I gave more emphasis to painting the kit. Why? Well, I do believe that gluing and cutting, we all know how to do that, even painting, but I used black basing this time, black base, and um, by advice of my friend Jazz Coleman, he told me do it like this, do it like that, do it like that, and you will find it everything will be okay and I follow his instructions to be honest I'm not pretending to be an expert here and I really really loved it I enjoyed it very much and I gave more emphasis on this video to the painting so if you want to check how to uh, do the black basing and uh, all those uh, very small final detail and touches uh, by advice of him I did it and it's here on this video The only extra thing I did was, well, I riveted on the panel lines a bit, this time and again by hand, and I did not uh, deepen the panel lines because the panel lines were perfect. I just did it one or twice, uh, just because I sanded it, you know, and we all lose a bit of uh, detail when sanding, so I just rescribed it just to uh, do the same uh, depth of the panel line. But that's the only extra thing I did. And I drilled the machine gun, tuned machine gun holes also.
And because this is a black base, the primer and the base will be black. TS6 matte black, just to prime the pieces and to prepare it for paintwork. And now a bit of white to marble the paint. I'm going to use my Bar Sharp 186. Um, on the beginning of the paint work you will see that the paint is a bit too thick, you will notice it. Even so, the Bar Sharp, the airbrush performed absolutely flawless. Um, as the paint goes by, the time goes by, the paint is going to be a bit better. So I thin down the paint a bit more, mix it all up in the cup. Uh, this is video editing as you know, it's just cut. But this is the way uh, black base is done and you marble the paint, which is a lot of fun actually. You see the paint going on those small, uh, hexagonal and very chaotic uh, white lines and but everything takes shape in the end. Everything blends perfectly in the end. more ahead you will see that uh, on panels I started to paint them black it's because I got carried away when you are painting when you, when you are in the groove and the flow of the work you are very thrilled with it and, and you can see in the future oh this panel I'm going to give it a bit more white just because I wanted a bit more fade you know and it is fun to paint a plane like this um, also you waste way less paint that, that rather than doing uh, priming and pre-shading of course I will just do that the same just the same it's 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 according to you guys uh, and I intend to do the same and pre-shading is all always a thing to do for me also but it is a lot of fun to do black base Anymore. 
right now the olive green and underneath the the gray um, you paint it on a ratio of 60% um, Mr. Color leveling thinner with 40% of Tamiya olive uh, green and an impression of 15 to 20 psi and you paint it just very very subtly subtle just enough for you to know that it's painted it's green but you in a way that you can also see through the transparency natural transparency of the paint the work that you did underneath and that will give a fade and a very weathered look to the paint and that will make the the kit more interesting more appealing to the eye you probably are questioning right now why is Alex painting each part separately well it was an advice from Jess Coleman and I realized it was the best although in the end I didn't follow his instructions and he by watching his video knows it is better for you to paint each section of the pa of this uh, plane separately because it fits very well it's a snap fit and fits very well so you have some uh, work freedom let's call it because you know that the pieces are going to fit properly um, the only thing is you have you give it everything on each piece you just sand it a bit work on it paint it varnish it give it a clear coat decal uh, another clear coat to seal the decals and matte and then you assemble everything okay I did that however I saved the last decal to the end the one that has to be cut in three pieces which is a symbol the draw uh, the mascot of the plane I did it in a different way I just with a brush just applied a bit very subtly a very subtle bit of uh, clear varnish apply it apply the decal and then gave it another clear coat with a brush and then with the brush again a matte coat and that unified everything see the clear pieces just snap fit it is wonderful it's just a fun kit to build if you want something to a weekend to do on a weekend on a lazy weekend on a Saturday on a whatever it is very fun to build this one
as you can see, we have the kit already built. Now we are going to give it a black and brown oil wash. Um, and then we are going to clean it with a cotton bud moistened in the white spirit. And it's all. It's just like this. Just a beauty like this. It's a very fun kit to build. It's one of those that you look at it and you say, oh God, I'm smiling. Because it is amazing. It's fantastic. I really love this. And I am laughing because even watching at the video and narrating this video, I, I love this kit. I really like it. done guys um, the riveting really paid off all the hard work on hard work god <laughs> all the fun and hard work okay on this kit really paid off um, and it's done it's practically done I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was only for me to clear my mind a bit and I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you like this video click on subscribe for more videos like this and on the notification bell and consider supporting me on Patreon if you want to. I'm there just to keep my hobby a bit more sustainable. And as always, guys, and really, as always, keep modeling, guys. Keep modeling. Always, always with a smile. Because this one really makes me smile. Bye.